So I met, as part of my research, I like to interview people. I have interviews with many, many people. I have 15 witnesses, as you all know. So, um, do you mind if I use your name? Yeah, go for so it. I met Dylan today. Um, what time did you have time? It's probably like... Uh, a little <laughs> bit past one, I think. Okay. So, um, after I met you and I started talking about the sh uh, sheriff's giving a hard time, can you describe what happened? Uh, we were just rolling on by along Watsonville and three more cops just kind of came driving by all at different times, but they all drove through in a line. You could tell they were all doing something together. And what, what department were you in? Yeah, Morgan Hill. There, there, was, there was a sheriff's department, weren't they sheriffs? Oh shit, yeah, yeah they, they were. The white, they had the white cars, right? With the, yeah. yeah their sheriff, the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Fuck. Department. Do you know right now, the other day they came to my house with five cop cars and they told my dad that, you know, they said, look, you're not, a out, you're not a threat to yourself or anyone else, but we want you to take your medicine anyway. Do you think that's fair? That's, that's immoral, right? If you feel you don't need medicine, then I don't see a need for you to take it. it. It's up to you and how you personally feel. Exactly. The 5150 laws, you have to be a threat to someone else or someone else. Now, you just yeah. met me for the first time. I'm high a little bit right mm -hmm. now, right? Do you feel threatened by me, honestly? No, nah, for real. I mean, we just makes everyone chill out. Like, so why? Well, do you see how there is the political abuse of psychiatry? It is wrong. And if yeah. we don't stand together, you know, in the name of what is right, whether we are this religion or that, that the bad guys with the money are going to tell us what to do and our women. They're going to tell us when to abort our kids, yeah. whether or not you're pro-choice or not. Letting corporations set the stage to make it so that certain good people are going to be poor and sabotaged and blacklisted. That is wrong. Yeah. And if we don't stand against it, we are not doing our families or our ancestors justice. Do you believe that? 100%. I've had issues with the system too. I've had a lot of issues with like me not being able to get a job just because I don't even have the money to get a car. I've had issues where I can't get a job unless I have internet access in order to be able to apply online. I can't just walk into a shop and be like, hey, can I apply for a job? And that's an issue when you have to go somewhere and pay to like use the internet. Like if you have to go to Starbucks or wherever, sit down, grab a coffee, use the internet. Like it specifically says, and I've been kicked out of places, like you need to be able to buy something. And if you don't have a way of getting money in the first place, you're just getting stuck in that circle. Right. And that's just going to fuck everyone up. Am I paying you to say this? Or nah. Other, <laughs> other than being friendly, do you have any reason to lie or anything? If you, I don't mean no. to offend you, but I ask everyone this because the government is very serious about sabotaging. Mm -hmm. If you change your story in the future, you'll be lying then and not now, right? Yes. I don't mean to assault you. You, know, you understand. No, no. Cool. It's, it's yeah. all good. Is it, you know, if... As a pothead, if you were being drugged with another drug mm -hmm. in your food, do you think you would know? Um, it was happening consistently, putting a powerful drug that changes your state of mind. I'd probably like notice something initially just because I, I'm pretty familiar with how like weed and um, like tobacco affect me and like even with alcohol, like I know how that affects me to like how it'll feel. And if something else were to happen, it would probably feel a little bit different. I'd probably be like, oh shit, like, what's going on? Probably freak out a little bit and have to go to the doctor and just be like, oh shit, this is something else? Like, when when did this happen? I just get completely freaked out by it. You know, if you were a martial artist and you were seeing good people die, would you, is it logical to assume that someone like you, that people should understand that why you're more pissed off about it than other people, because you train to fight evil specifically and have discipline. Mm -hmm. So when they say, hey, you can't control yourself, but you have this discipline that's part of your culture. Mm -hmm. There's a cultural component that can't be ignored. Yeah. And if we allow a corporate culture to oppress the disenfranchised people of the world, then we may as well fucking just let them have their way and be their slaves and may as well say, hey, we're your slaves. For real. Are we the people or are we the, the, the employees <laughs> of the transnational alliance between corporate entities and the lowly knaves who have sold us out for their greed, selfishness, and lack of compassion. So they can feel good and fuck our women and tell us yeah. what to do. For real, honestly, like, the way government's going, like, my friend, he's legitimately having to marry his girlfriend because they're gonna deport her. Like, they're 19 and they're having to get married because of that, like, that's the only way she can stay in the country. And then, then they want to close, you know, based on their corporate, you know, I'm not trying to disrespect the president, I'm not threatening the president, but based on their corporate alliances right that's who gets to come to the country and it's like it's all in the news and everyone's like making oh the, even the news even though we know the news lies mm -hmm. when they do tell us the truth it's kind of like sometimes we do know that truth because it's like it's because it's corruption 
Yeah. And we know that when they tell the truth about corruption, unless they're trying to frame someone or scapegoat someone, it's probably the truth. And even if the person who they're trying to scapegoat is not guilty, mm -hmm. there's probably someone else who is, right? Yeah. Or a big group of conniving, underhanded, diabolical, mm -hmm. sinister. Like, you see how I use, you see how I use these words? There's fucking scum, right? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, for real. Power to the fucking people. You feel <laughs> Power me? Power to the people, yeah, Absolutely. Man. You know, we come together as every race and we tell them like Bob Marley to their face. So you bum a klutz mm -hmm. aren't telling a shit. You understand me? Go back to your snake pit and suck a snake dick. <laughs> Power to the people. They're real though. Like honestly, it's just been a real just mess of just trying to make it through life. You want a beer? Don't mind too much from that. But, you know, I'm kind of drank a few, you know. I'm kind of in my Santa Cruz, but I'll just take it here for a while. You know, fuck. Oh, uh, no, I don't fuck with buds. All right. It's good but it's true. Thanks, though. I'm just gonna have one. Don't worry. I'm good. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> That's because the sheriff's coming up to say, Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Can you see why, it's, if you're me, right? Imagine, like, I'm not trying to play the race card at all. I'm half white, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine if you're black in this town, right? Do you feel, would you feel alienated? A little bit, especially because, like, I worked at Target um, for almost a year and I was working as cashier, and I would see just how, like, few black people would come in compared to all the white families. Like, this is a predominantly white town, and they're all, like, coming just from that crazy conservative side where they just feel like everything has to be neat and tidy and they have to understand it in, like, the smallest words possible, which. I don't, cute. I don't what, really get what it. What kind of person drove by in that blue car? It's kind of like a conservative, kind of like, you know, you yeah. didn't understand it's good, it's good. Um, yeah, it's like, man, can you, what would you expect from a martial artist like me who's a political activist who's being harassed for, you know, ever since he's 13? I went to this yeah. reform school when I was 15 in Southern California and they shut it down. I've been in the psych ward 10 times. Do I seem like a mentally ill, like homeless person? You mm -hmm. can't take, you feel me? Like I'm yeah, on no, point. You, I'm you, a martial artist, you feel me? I mean, you you feel like that kind of person where you know your shit. It's just life just fucks you over every single time you get it going for you. And I've been there and I mean, I'm only like 18. I'm going to be 19 pretty soon in April. But like you and I, we both already had issues with the system. We've already both had issues where it's just like life just doesn't let you get that foot in the door that you need in order to support yourself all the way. And then waste talent. Because how many talented people, you know, everyone's born with talent. Some people, some cultures are, they, they, they've they evolved to be good at art, like Aztecs, for mm -hmm. example. Some cultures, they've evolved to be beach kind of friendly people like the Filipinos, you know, you see yeah. in Santa Cruz, why they go there, right? Mm -hmm. Because they's kind of like the Philippines. And yeah. then there's a tsunami. And what you don't know, there's some fucking scumbags who literally control the weather with technology, not completely. They're kind of getting, they're, they're getting used to it. They're kind of manipulating things, you know, you know, yeah. on, a, on an atomic level and things like that, microscopic level, right? And so they can affect politics on a macroscopic or a sociological level. Mm -hmm. And they are holding it on against your people. They're telling, they're literally telling Filipino girls, I promise you, I'm not lying. I'm not trying to piss <laughs> you off. They're saying, look, if you want to come here, you remember Trump said, look, if you want to come here, you have to have certain values, right? Yeah. Uh, some values, liberals agree with it, you know, mm -hmm. like say be feminist friendly, gay friendly, some yeah. liberals, like we have no problem with that but look at what they're exactly trying to do as a martial artist imagine you're trying to defend your filipino people as a martial artist and you, you put on your fma shit and you say look i'm trying to see what you're trying to do right mm -hmm. what are they trying to do they're saying we're taking all your most beautiful women yeah they better see it like us and when they do we control reproduction because in egypt there was a phallic symbol you know what that is mm -hmm. a phallus that's an obelisk it is that represents a penis oh, shit. impregnating God impregnating the universe and boom excuse me, there's a big bang <laughs> right right that is the scientific martial artist and religious perspective when it's combined the Christians right. say that God created the universe right the scientists say there was a big bang that's the most popular theory yeah and the martial artists say hmm what is the martial arts significance so God basically you know he was doing his martial art kind of thing in a bitch right you know, you know I'm not just, and then boom right and then everything comes and we all are have different traits of God some of us are artists some of us are martial artists some of us are hip-hop artists and we're yeah. playing the drum doo, 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 which represents kind of playing love music while we're making love right mm -hmm. and that brings in a kid do the certain rhythm and vibration and energy into the world and he's a man of God now if you do it in a way that's horrible you rape a woman bitch bitch right and you're like bitch I'm not, you know what happens it's born it's a ritual it's evil ritual so there's light there's love there's lust there's God there's selfishness there's selflessness there's compassion there's lack of compassion 
there's indifference, there's love, and there's guys like me who talk this way to scare people because we have corazón, if heart. Yeah. Like the Spanish who came to the Philippines, they're trying to tell you, look, when this black guy says corazón and your descendants have smoked with you with him on this day in March, when we ready for the march, you don't, you tell that man with his genetic code to never forget the bread. Where was the bread in the ancient world? Egypt, the Nile. The Nile, Upper Egypt was down here, and Lower Egypt was up here, right? Because the Africans united Egypt from Nekin, the land of the hawks. This is the Scorpion King. Damn. Is, yeah, we united the United because we loved everybody. That's okay? how cool. You know how they say the white devil? I'm not saying white people, but I'm half white, mm -hmm. right? We are the ones who united the world. They're the ones who came in like, give us your bitches and your shit. Yeah. Like, what, well, man, we gave you your bread for free. We gave you gold for free. And you turned around and made gold the standard. And everyone from every race knows you're dead wrong. And then when you were in Rome talking your shit, we went there like as Christians. I don't know if you're Christian, but I don't hold you against you. Oh, no. no I'm, I'm agnostic, actually. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, you know, from a historical perspective, because mm -hmm. people like me can tell you and everyone else the truth because there's also science and history. So let's mm -hmm. look at it historically. Rome was between, now you gotta remember, even if you don't believe me, this is how they see it. People in charge are atheistic settlers. That's why there's a grand lodge of masonry in Frisco. That's why there's the temple is set and the church of Satan, their headquarters in Frisco, the art museum, martial arts, Mars, the Roman god of war, Saturn, Ecologa Virgil on the great seal, Saturn, the rings, wedding rings, earrings, two rings, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm not saying you're evil for wearing earrings. I'm <laughs> saying that our culture is derived from Greco-Roman, Talmudic, Jew-loving, Viking Satanists. The Vikings entered Europe and they spread out and they put their roots down. Hell, I'm related to them. I have a Viking out of my house. Oh, shit. But I'm a Christian. Like, I, I'm not trying to push people around with my who I am. I'm trying to give them the truth. And that is from my perspective. When I say Christian, I don't go around gay bashing and slapping bitches around saying, do it my way. No, that's not being a Christian. <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking raping a choir boy in the church. That's not being a Christian. Mm -hmm. I am giving them my love and the gospel. Even though I know you're not, I'm like, you hate them? No, <laughs> I'm giving you the business. Yeah, right? no, for real. You feel like, me? I, I hella respect it when people can just talk about religion and not like try to shove it down people's throats. I, I massively respect that because I understand that it does take a lot to do that. Like, you do get very passionate, and that that's how it's supposed to be when it's something like your faith. But there is a fine line that it will just turn people off, and then you're just going to end up feeling like it's not working, and that's it's going to make you go out of your way to do stuff that you really shouldn't to promote that religion. Absolutely. You know, and, and what happens is people have ulterior motives. You see, Jesus, the bread symbolizes the heart. Bethlehem means the house of bread. Okay, so when you, you know, I want you to tell your agnostic friends, you know, from an agnostic perspective, what I'm telling you, from your own perspective, I'm not, trying to, I'm not saying be a Christian, I'm not trying to convert you, mm -hmm. okay? The house of Bethlehem means the house of bread. Israel means Isis, Ra, and Elohim, which is the Hebrew word of God. Okay. And Hebrews were Afro-Asiatic. They were not... Yeah, they, they weren't quite African, but they weren't quite Asian. They were just kind of that, that little in-between area. It, is, it goes back to jo Joshua took in a priestess of on from Egypt. Mm -hmm. So you can literally look at the Bible and say, African, Middle Asian, like Hittite mm -hmm. kind of people, right? So who was David and Goliath? Goliath was a Hittite. This was mm -hmm. kind of like an inner Middle Asian Semitic kind of war, yeah. right? And then they married the black people and over time they're coming Jews. Now, some Jews, regardless of what they look like, we were all mm -hmm. about the same color. Some of them went to Germany where yeah. Hitler was and they became the Ashkenazi, Ash, K. Nazi. K um, is the vowels are interchangeable in Egypt. K is ka and chi. Ki. Ever heard ki? Mm -hmm. Ki, ka, mm -hmm. k, chi. Ebo words. I'll, I'll prove it to you if you want me to, but oh, you know, okay. it, 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 it means the soul. So it is a spiritual sacrifice, a burnt offering. And Holocaust mm -hmm. also means burnt offering. Yeah. The Zionists funded Hitler and said, look, all the Jews who are willing to come to Israel with the Stern Gang in the Havera Agreement. Okay. okay, we will create the state of Israel and kick off, kick out the people, the, the indigenous peoples, like mm -hmm. the you know imperialist colonialist neocolonialism, you know, agreement with the British. The British mm -hmm. are Freemasons. Rothschilds are the bell that rings the loudest in the British criminal structure because they are banker filth that control the money, and money can make anybody, even my own family, mm -hmm. turn against me. So oh, they yeah. are fucking scum. 
Okay, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm sorry. I'm trying to no, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I, I, 